Hi everyone, this video is going to show you how to set up your ECV digital portfolio. Your first step is to go to the Google Sites webpage, which is sites.google.com. Once you're here, you can create a site and you should name your site uh, something semi-professional at least, maybe your name, and if your name is already taken as a domain name, then you can add your name ECV or your name El Cajon Valley High School. And, and actually you could just keep this as your name and then down in the URL add dash ECVHS. That way your name is the, your name for the site and your URL is slightly different. I'm going to select a theme now and I can choose whichever one I want. I can change it later if I want. For now I'll select one and then click Create. After your site's created, the very first thing you need to do, the very first thing you need to do is share your site. Right now it's private only to you. You click on the share icon and then it says private only you can access. You need to change that so that your website is public on the web. Otherwise nobody else will be able to see it, including your teacher. After you click Save, your site is now public on the web click this button to go back to your site. Now I want to edit my menu. I want to click on the settings button and click on edit site layout and uncheck the sidebar because I don't want to have a sidebar menu. Instead I want to have a horizontal navigation menu so I'll select that. Now I've got my horizontal navigation and I'll close that. So I'm on my way. I want to make my first page now and I've been telling my students to make a page where they explain some skill that they have. Perhaps your skill is wearing shoes. Hopefully it's something more advanced than that. But if you want to make a page all about how you know how to wear shoes, go for it. Now I'm going to hit save. I could add information here. I could insert and add a picture of my shoes and how I know how to wear them or maybe a YouTube video of me tying my own shoes and um, maybe a little bit of history. I've been wearing shoes for at least six years. I'm gonna hit the Save button and then I'm gonna click back here to go to my home page. And oh no, I'm on my home page. Where did my, where did my page go that I just built? It's not up here on the menu bar because we need to add it. Go to the settings icon again. To add pages to your menu bar, you'll click Edit Site Layout again. And the part of the page you want to edit is right up here. The Edit Horizontal Navigation bar, you'll click that and this menu pops up. I need to add the page I just made, so I'll click Add Page. I'll go to My Recent Changes. Here's a recent change I made. I, I recently added this page, so I'll click OK. Now I've got Home and Wearing Shoes. That means over here I'll have a Home button then a Wearing Shoes button. And I'll click OK. Then I'll click, click Close. And now I've got my Home button and I've got my Wearing Shoes button. But suppose I wanted to have a Home button underneath, or my Wearing Shoes button underneath my Home button. I can go to Edit Site Layout again. I can edit my navigation bar. Here's Home. Here's Wearing Shoes. I'm going to hit the little indenting button. Now I've got Home, Wearing Shoes. Click OK. Click Close. And now when I hover over Home, Wearing shoes appears underneath it. And that's a big start to building your page. You can add more buttons along the top, like um, math, English, social science, science, elective. And as you move on, you can have a ninth grade tab, a 10th grade tab, an 11th grade tab, and so on. Have fun building your page. I think we're going to build some, some awesome uh, examples of what our students are doing here at Elkhorn Valley High School.